Alright, today we're going to take out the battery in the iPhone 5S. First take your pentalobe screwdriver, the same screwdriver that's used for all of the iPhones, and take out the two screws near the base. Then take your suction cup and put it as close to the home button as possible, and take a metal pry tool, or anything that's sturdy enough, to fit between the glass screen and the metal frame. I like to use a razor blade just because of how firm it is. It doesn't bend around and it makes sure that the, the screen comes up when in control. So you can see I'm just barely prying it up very very gently right here and I'm going to switch to a plastic tool to not damage the frame of the screen. And You have to be very careful when you're lifting it up because there is a little ribbon cable attached to the home button that you can see right here and there's a little clasp that you have to lift up. It's just like a little latch so I'm going to get my little pry tool in there and just clip it up and you can see it bend back just like a little door and the whole little thing comes off you can see that it will detach itself as soon as I get the ribbon cable unclipped it's just kinda of like a Lego so I lift up and away from the bottom and it unsnaps and now we're gonna take off the screen just so we don't damage it while we're removing the battery it's pretty simple there's just four screws around the outside of the little metal bracket undoing each of those right now. Make sure not to bend the screen past 90 degrees or it will damage the cables. Any parts that you need for this will be down in the video description below. Tools, batteries. If you need anything else just ask me in the comments. They usually spawn pretty quick. So now I'm going to take off these three ribbon cable connectors. This one's for the speaker on the screen. This next one is for the LCD on the screen, and then this last one is for the digitizer on the screen, which is the part where you touch and it recognizes where your finger is. Now the screen is off, you can just kind of see the back of it here. You have the earpiece with your cameras and everything, and then you have your fingerprint sensor on the home button. Now to take out the battery, there are two screws holding on this metal bracket that holds the battery connector in place. So I'm going to take off this screw. Keep them separate from the other screws you took apart earlier, just because they are different lengths. And I'm going to remove this bracket and set it next to the screw so I know which one goes in which hole. And I'm going to take my pry tool and lift up on the little latch. You can see the three pin connector right there. And now I flip the phone around and I'm going to start prying down from the top of the battery. Just kind of using the frame as leverage and pushing my pry tool underneath the battery. So I'm not doing a whole lot of um, pulling up on the frame or the back. I'm more just sliding the tool underneath. And that unsticks it from the two strands of sticky tape that you'll see here in a second. And then just kind of wiggle the battery loose. And the battery is now free from the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C battery is interchangeable. I will list the iPhone 5S battery below though because it is the bigger battery. It lasts longer. Anyway, press it down into place inside the phone. Make sure it's completely flat. And put the three pin connector back into place and the metal bracket back on top. Screwing it back in. If you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comments or you can always hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. I'll put links at the end of the video for that. Now we're going to reattach the screen, starting with the digitizer cable. Just kind of clip that into place. It's just kind of like Legos. You'll just have to position it with your finger and then you'll hear a snap as it goes in. Be gentle though, we want to break the least amount of stuff possible when we open these phones up. Hopefully nothing. You can see me struggle a little bit with this last one, it takes a second to figure out where the connection actually is. And then I'm going to put the bracket back into place, grabbing each of the screws that I laid out before, remembering where they went. I usually lay the screws out around the bracket next to the hole they go in. Once again, any parts for this can be found in the video description below. Amazon is usually the cheapest place to get batteries and stuff. 
So I'll put a link there. Now the fun part. The little ribbon cable for the thumbprint reader, fingerprint reader, um, is pretty hard to get back into place. You have to line it up kind of with your finger first and then take your plastic pry tool and just kind of gently press it into place. It takes a while. You're going to love you're going to love it. So now that that's clicked in, you have your little bracket and you set that into place just sitting kind of on top of it. You make sure it's oriented in the right direction and then you can press it or clip it back down into place with your finger. It takes a second to get it all lined up. And that's what it looks like when it's all pressed down into place. So it'll clip in on both sides and hold that ribbon cable in very securely. Then line the top of the screen up with the frame and kind of clip it up along the sides, being careful not to press too hard in the center of the screen. We don't want to crack it. And it will clip back into place. And you can see that it's completely flush with the phone again. And then at this point I like to turn it on just to make sure everything's working so I don't have to jump back in just in case I you know, forgot to connect any cables or anything like that. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. And then uh, also don't forget to get those bottom two screws in. I put up videos you know, pretty regularly. I get my hands on pretty new technology pretty quick. So if you have any you know, questions or anything, if you want to subscribe, make sure to click here. Uh, hit me up on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.